while praying and meditating on this verse. I saw something I, I didn't see before. I don't know if you see anything familiar here when you look at verse 2. It, 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 it brought me in reminiscence of uh, Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis chapter 3, anybody remember the first words that Satan spoke to Eve? <laughs> or the first words that Satan spoke to Eve? You all talk loud now. Look, look when people gonna scramble. Hmm? Turn to Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, it's the first we're hearing a quote from the serpent. What did he say? Yea, has God said? Has God said? In that simple introduction from the lips of Satan, we see Satan using his most effective diabolical weapon, which is doubt. Doubt. Don't take doubt simple. Satan's weapon, it brings fear, uncertainty. You doubt God, you doubt yourself. And here we see the very attack on the word of God. And it begins from the lips of Satan. And he says, has God said? Is this really what God is saying? The doubt that Satan implies against God's people. This powerful, powerful weapon called doubt. I don't want you to, I know we hear in the house of the Lord, but I know you hear that voice of doubt too. Hello? How do you know that your religion is the right religion? How do you know you're worshiping on the right day? Hmm? How do you know you have the right Bible? Hmm? How do you know? How do you know? Your mind not bad. Is it me alone? Hello? The voices of doubt that bombard us regularly. Hello? I am learning as I look. Even Jesus, as Satan attacked him in the wilderness. If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down here. If began to speak doubt into his own identity. If you are on the cross, if you are, come, this, this element of doubt that Satan uses over and over and over again. So here it is, we see in Genesis chapter 3 that the words, has God says. And now in Numbers 12, Aaron opens up her mouth. And she and they said, Has the Lord indeed spoken only to Moses? 